I hate cutting through the side of the bus, but this is one of those like necessary things that got to be on the outside here. This is uh, going to be for our water supply interface to the outside so we can fill our tanks and stuff. So I got to start, I got it marked out for our little thing and I'll show you in a sec what that is. And then I'm going to drill holes in the corners and these are going to punch through to the inside. So when I cut the metal on the inside, I'll have a marker to work with. as the thickness of the walls of the bus. That's really good because then it, it'll, our bed will be closer to the wall. Oh, good. Doodle tape again? Yep. It's like a sixth element. <laughs> no one actually knows how butyl tape is made. <laughs> Just need some hose clamps on here. That's all? That's super quick and easy, like in a scary way. Right. Just perfect. By their nature, these want to leak because there's a channel on the inside that spirals. I was wondering about that same thing. So How that's why I'm smashing down? it so hard so that oh. it probably won't. Hopefully won't. Is this what everybody else uses in their RV? I don't know. I haven't been able to find a whole lot of information. It just seemed like a good idea. Yeah. I guess we'll find out.
So now we gotta figure out how to tie these bad boys up. Got it all strapped in here. We use some of the old rubber hose from the uh, um, the original heater to run it over the top or to strap it up there, but not put any pressure on the uh, new pipe there. So I think it looks good. It is blazing hot outside right now because we're in Arizona and. We finished the plumbing inside for the most part. There's, a, there's obviously gonna be a couple extra things as the, the build progresses to that point. But I wanted to address something that was really interesting to me. And uh, that's the, the, um, the monitoring system in the bus. So I've never really been satisfied with the monitoring system that has been in the uh, in motorhomes in general, they have that little panel you come up and you push your button and it shows you four lights for how much your fresh water tank and your black water tank and your gray water tank and you know that 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 technology has been around for about a jillion years and I really wanted to upgrade that so being the nerd that I am I've just taken it to a whole new level and I'm sure some of the modern super duper RVs that you can buy get that but what fun is that I want to make it so um, what I did is I created what I what I call the control freak. Uh, system and uh, basically um, this one panel will monitor all my batteries all the solar all the water tanks uh, how much current I'm drawing um, and as well as control a couple of the things that I really wanted to have in this and that is one I wanted to be able to elevate our solar panels to uh, the, the angle of the Sun where we're at so I want it to be smart enough to know that if I'm in Alaska in the winter, it's going to have to elevate a lot. And if I'm in, you know, uh, Panama in the summertime, you know, it's going to be pretty flat. So uh, knowing that, using some uh, uh, a little astronomical math and, and a GPS, you can figure out all that information. And then all you have to do is elevate the panel to that height. So. That's what I figured out up to this point. I've created the panel and I've created the, um, uh, the interface that I'll be using to do this. We're also going to have a mast on the uh, bus that elevates and it'll be down by the solar panels behind them that will elevate up and that will have a, a solar and, or not, a cellular antenna on top um, so we can uh, boost our signal. So we can have signal more, much more remote places. Not sure which one I'm going to go with yet. Haven't decided if I'm going to use a booster or if I'm going to use, uh, put that onto um, like a, a cradle point router, cellular router or something like that. Not sure yet, but either way, I'm probably going to have a directional antenna I can also spin around so we can point it at a weak cell signal and bring that in. So that, that could really, you know, increase our footprint as far as cellular reception. So let me show you what I've done so far. It's kind of cool. I really, I'm really enjoying doing this. First of all, what we have here is the, probably the world's first solar powered radio flyer wagon. I'm just kidding. This is just a, a solar setup. I have it on the wagon so I can move it around and move the battery with it and everything. But um, this is just a 50 watt solar panel. This is just a test bed. Total prototype proof of concept to make sure that uh, I can do what I say I'm going to do here. This is the control hub. This is the panel that you're going to see. Right now, all those dials are just moving up and down randomly. They're not attached to anything because I don't have those sensors yet. Um, but I have ideas for everything on this. So I kind of made it look all steampunky with a brass background and all that stuff. But uh, the reality is, is that uh, this will tell me everything. All the little like dots, these color light, those are would sig signify like something's going on. So if I'm drawing more than 20 amps right now, this thing turns red. If it was over here at 30, you see this one just turned yellow, back red again. So it just, they change color. Green is good, yellow is hey, and red is oh my God, you know, pay attention, okay? And some of these are more important than others, like load. You know, if I'm down here at 100, drawing 150 amps, that's bad, okay? Fresh water and stuff, this is gonna be cool. This is going to be cool because I found a sensor that will give me a very linear reading from zero to full, meaning that 
it's not just four lights like are on common on RVs. This will actually show me, you know, like I have 3.2 gallons left. Like it's very, very accurate. So it's gonna be very cool for that, that I'll be able to control or know exactly how much water I have and know that I am critical or if I'm full or whatever. Okay, same with the gray water. I'm using the same sensor in both. It's pretty cool. All right, so what we can do here, uh, let me show you what we can do. Okay, this is the actual control panel here, okay? Notice it says panels are down. So what I'm gonna do, if I click the solar up button here, you probably heard that. Let me show you. So this will then tell me if the panels are up or down or not and what elevation they're set at. Um, it should be 81.5. I can't get the accuracy under about a, I can get it around one degree accuracy. If I'm within one degree, that's, that's perfectly good. I have no complaints about that. So, um, the same will happen when we get the antenna, uh, the mast up and down, it'll go up and down and tell me whether it's up or down. Um, the solar panels will lock in the down position. Eventually I haven't got to that point yet, but I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up what I'm doing behind the scenes sometimes when I'm not physically working on the bus, but building some other stuff. So stay tuned. There's some really cool stuff going to be on this bus. And, and if you stay tuned, you guys are going to catch it. So thanks for watching today, guys. And we'll, uh, we'll see you guys again next time.